Hello, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Rico Brown. I'm the Executive Vice President for Neolife Life International. Uh, I've been with Neolife Life for 30 years. And I'm here today to, first of all, congratulate each and every one of you from Team Power and Team Acres of uh, Diamonds uh, on being at this event. This event is going to be a turning point in your career because those of you that are participating in this event, you're going to gain information, knowledge, and you're going to develop some new skills that will take your business to the next level. You know, you all have some of the best leaders in uh, uh, Isaac and Purity, as well as Grace. Those are some of the best leaders in the business. And it's important that you follow their direction, you follow their system, and you have discipline to maintain the process as you move forward in building your business. Today, I just wanted to take a few moments to talk about the principles and the beliefs which defines this business that we are a part of. You see, you have to have a set of principles that you're working with, and you have to have belief and what you are doing, otherwise you're just going through the motions. So if you have paper and pencil, I want you to write these things down because I want um, Grace and Isaac and Purity to, to get in more detail about the things that you have questions about. Number one, desire and dreams are the attributes of a qualified prospect. That's simply saying, you have to start looking for individuals who want to achieve something different in their lives, people that want to change their lives, people that are tired of living life and want to enjoy a lifestyle. You know, oftentimes what happens is most people go out looking for sick people. They go out because they don't know how to share the opportunity, so they talk about the product. Well, we know that 50% of the people that sign up as a distributor will probably be just a customer. But it's important that you identify the other 50% that could potentially be a business builder just like each and every one of you. So you have to find out what the individual wants before you start to present to him what you have. Number two, share the opportunity first. It's important that you learn how to share the opportunity. It's important that you learn that you are excited in sharing the opportunity. The opportunity is not near life. The opportunity is what you do in your business. This is your business. And sometimes you don't take it as your business. You always say near life, near life. No, you have your own business. And in your own business, you do certain things. You help people to earn money. You help people to travel. You help people to feel better. You help people to be the best that they can be. That is the opportunity. That is what you have to sell first to people. Now, you have to know what to do after you sell the opportunity first, meaning if they say no, what do you do? If they say yes, what do you do? And I think Isaac and Purity and, and Grace are teaching you all what to do, but you have to share the opportunity first. Number three, hold the opportunity high. I mean, be proud of this industry. You have to hold the opportunity high. And when someone asks you, what do you do? It's okay to say, I own my own business. That's the opportunity. And you help other people change their lives. That's holding it high. Don't be afraid to talk about what you do. Don't be afraid to say, I'm a part of the network marketing direct sales industry. I'm proud of it. I've been with the company for 30 years and I am not afraid to tell anyone what I do because this industry has changed my life. It has changed the lives of your leaders and it will change your life to a greater extent than what you've experienced already. So hold the opportunity high, meaning be serious. Don't play, be serious. This, we don't play with people's lives. And this business is great because people 
are involved. I think number three, success takes time. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a become a millionaire overnight scheme. This is not you're gonna be five diamond in one year scheme. Success takes time. It takes a lot of things to achieve success, but building a business in near life is not difficult at all. You may beg to differ with me, that's okay. But based on my understanding of the industry, when you know what to do, building a business is not difficult. Yes, it takes time because you have to reach people that you know, and they will reach people that you don't know, and they will reach people that they don't know. And that is how you expand this business. That is why you recruit business builders, because they will bring other people that have the same goals, dreams, and desires that you have. Keep the business fun. I think that's number four. Keep the business fun. You know, this is a fun business. And the people in your organization, they want to talk about something sometimes other than PV and sponsoring. So you have to keep this business fun, serious, but fun. You have to do things to show people you appreciate them. You have to do things to build relationships. You have to do things to show camaraderie in our industry. You have to have picnics. You have to have potluck dinners. You have to have movie night or bowling night. You have to do some things that are fun so people feel that it is an all around business. Number six, keep it simple. This is a simple business. It's a simple business because what you do is you meet someone, you talk to them, you tell them about your business, you ask them to join, and then you put them in a system where they can achieve greater success. You don't have to be the best speaker. You don't have to be the tallest or the smartest. All you have to have in this business is a great desire to want to achieve for yourself and to help others to achieve. So keep it simple. Don't complicate the business. Don't try to tell people everything you know when they first join. You see, when they first join, they have 0% responsibility for their success and you have 100%. If you dump too much information on them from the very beginning, then guess what? They get confused, they get disappointed, and they go away because they say, well, I can't do this. It's too complicated. You have to keep your explanations of what people need to do extremely sim simple. Number seven, your presentation should be professional. Oftentimes, we take our presentations light. And sometimes we do more entertaining than we do presenting the business. We are not here to entertain. We are here to communicate valuable information to people. We want to make sure that they're gaining that information. So we have to keep it professional. And we have to keep the meetings what we say they are. If we say we're doing an opportunity presentation, it cannot turn into a, a product presentation. If we're doing a product presentation, it cannot turn into an opportunity presentation. It is very important, extremely important, that you look professional when you go up to the front of the room to deliver the message to the people that are interest, interested in joining what you are doing. It's important that you maintain this system of professionalism. In your business, as a director and above, you have to maintain a code of conduct. People have to follow the standards that you set in your business. They have, you have to make sure that people know how to act in your meeting room. They need to know how to act in the public. They need to maintain our philosophy of honesty and integrity. And they have to make sure that this is an equal opportunity for all. So it's important 
that you as a director managing a business that you maintain a code of conduct. Number nine, accept responsibility for sponsoring. You have to sponsor. I don't care if you're a five diamond director. I did a meeting this morning with the uh, South African president's team. And the first thing we talked about was their personal sponsoring. People will do as you do, not as you say. So you have to sponsor each and every month to show people that one, you know how to do it. And two, that this is what's necessary and achieving the success that you have achieved. Number 10, keep people involved. You want people to attend trainings. You want them to come to your events because the more you keep them involved, the more you talk about success, the more you show them success, the greater level of success that they're willing to go out and achieve. You can. You can make sure that people are involved with your system. If you have events and activities that are scheduled for at least three months in advance and you announce them and you sell them, people will be willing to attend because one, your managers and senior managers and executive managers and distributors are looking up to you all. You are a director. That is the top position in our business. And from there, you get leadership titles. But more importantly, a director is the top title. So you have to feel good that I am a director and people are looking up to me. So you have to keep them involved. You have to go out and build directors. Your number one job is to go out and for each of you, to build a director. You see, our business consists of a few basic concepts. The first concept is you need to focus on a monthly basis of generating volume. The way you generate volume in our business is through sponsoring and getting people to qualify at the title that they currently hold. That is your number one responsibility. Number two, you have to be focused on helping your distributors to earn money. The excitement in our business is not Rico Brown talk. The excitement in your business is not someone going up in the front of the room, you know, entertaining people. The excitement in our business is simple. And what is that? When people earn money, they tell other people and it generates the excitement and enthusiasm. The next thing is you have to eliminate choices. When you get a new person, don't dump everything on them. Minimize the choices. I've spoken with Grace. I've spoken with Isaac and Purity about, you know, having a system where you don't focus on everything all the time or initially, but you have a you do, you get system. You do this job, this is what you get, and you will learn as you go. We want to obligate people to work. That's why we say we want people to get started with a little inventory. One of the income systems that I push is to get started with a kit plus three. That means get four pro vitalities, one to use and three to sell. Now, what do you mean, Rico, obligate them to work? Well, if I have three boxes of pro vitality sitting on my office desk or sitting on my kitchen table, I'm going to say I need to do something with those boxes. So maybe, excuse me, maybe as a result, they will come and they will share the products with someone or they'll come to training, or at least they will call their sponsor and say, I need help because I need to move these products so I can get my money back. That is what we call obligating people to work. If people get started and they only get a kit, then they're not going to work necessarily. They're just going to use the product 
and you may not hear from them ever again. And many of you have people that are like that. So we have to obligate them to work by getting with Paul, getting with Grace, getting with Isaac and Purity to make sure that you understand their income system that will help them to earn money. The last thing is working our business is systematic. If you have a system of duplication, if you have a system that tells people what they need to do, when they need to do it, and how they need to do it, then you have a system that will give you greater success than you ever imagined. Again, as I said earlier, our business is simple. If you know what to do, why you're doing it, and how to do it, then you can teach other people. It's a simple system. I learn, I teach. You learn, you teach. They learn, they teach. And that is the process of building a business in this industry. So in closing, I want to say this to you. You can do it. You can be Sapphire, one Ruby, two Ruby, three Ruby. You can step up in this business. And you're in the right place at the right time with the right leaders to make that happen. So the first thing I want you to do is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You are special. You are unique. You can do anything you set your mind and your heart to. It may take a little time. That's okay. Success takes time. But believe in yourself. And if you can't do something, learn how to do it. And that will add greater belief in your ability. The second thing is believe in your people. Believing in your people will help you to build relationships. Relationships are strong in our industry because the stronger the relationship, the longer an, indiv an individual will become a part of your team. They will stay with you because they have something to hold on to even when things are not going well. And the last thing I want to say is believe in what you are doing. Believe in this opportunity. Believe in this company. Believe in your leaders. Believe in Paul and Fred, because they're all here to assist you. The people that are designed, that are available to assist you, truly believe in you. They will spend time with you. They will tell you what you need to do. And then they will assist you in the process of accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish. So I want to say congratulations on achieving and achieve, achieving the results to attend this meeting here in Mombasa. Uh, I congratulate you not only your results, but I congratulate you on your effort. And I congratulate your leaders on putting together this type of event so that they can assist you in the process of building, building a huge, gigantic network that's going to be one of the best networks in all of Neolife. I want to say to you, God bless, have fun, and learn a lot. Thank you very much.